Let's start by duplicating the layers using Linear. Let's adjust the position and amount of clones. Then we can use, after this, the select function to select all the clones and find size and position in them. We can use select to select this property in all layers and then use step to affect them based on index. Now let's go to the step property. We need size to be two times the position change and position should be negative. This way we properly offset the change in the layers. Okay, now let's animate strength. Start from 0 to 100 and then go back to 0. We can add delay to make the offset of the animation a little more interesting. Let's add a basic looping expression to strength. That way it loops seamlessly. Now we can adjust the curve of the graph using the spline property. For instance, we can add easing and then adjust it to make it look exponential. You can add keyframes to make any shape of graph you want and customize it even further. Now we have a fully procedural, easy to edit graph. 